Hi, everybody. Welcome into the studio. Do you remember when we made these little boxes? Have you used yours? I'm curious. I am going to open a bunch of Valentines tonight and put them in my box. I've been looking forward to doing this ever since we made our boxes. So look what I've got here. And uh, here we go. I'm going to start with this box. So this is a, I have a feeling most of these are Valentine's because the Maker Bees all did a Valentine exchange this month and I put my address in there. And so I think that's what most of this is. I um, cut that one open before we got started because I knew it would take a minute. And this is from Jill P. Jill P. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Chocolate marshmallows, I think. Oh, look at this. Paper heart. I love this. This is something that I can put up all year long. It's pink and it's a heart and I love it. Thank you so much, Jill. I love that. Let's see what else she has in here. Oh, this is cute. I saw her post this in our group. This is, oh, Jill, if you're on here, tell us. Did you use, what did you use here? And she wrapped it in fabric and put a little hanger on it, like a little Valentine ornament, super cute. More chocolates, love, a mini little heart. And what do we have here? It looks like, oh, she painted me a little snowman rock. So cute, that is great, I love it. Thank you, Jill. And then I have a little card. Let's just stamp the bees on there. Oh, so cute. Sparkly. She's got some painted paper. Wow. Jennifer, thank you for everything you do. I created a few different Valentines, so I thought I'd make you a box. I'm sending along some Buffalo special sponge candy. I think I'm obsessed with the wire wrapped hearts. I hope you enjoy. I thought with all you're dealing with and all you do for the bees, you deserve a treat. Thank you, Jill. I love it. That one, is that going to fit in my, it does fit into my box. Yay, the first Valentine into my box. <laughs> Too fun. Okay, this one is from Terry S. Terry Stutzman. A little button I can see. Look at all the different little stamps and stickers. Wow. Wax seal. Thank you, Terry. Does that fit into my box? It does! And then we have... This is from Sue. Sue B. just says S, but I know who it is. These are my Maker Bees. Beautiful tissue paper that will be saved. <gasps> oh, she sent me a snippet roll. Look at this. Oh, look at that with the ribbon, all the little scraps, and she's tied on some little thingies. I love it, Sue. Thank you so much. I will put that to use. Love it. Oh, paper clip heart. Look at that. So creative. Cute. Oh, and look at all these little valentines. She made this little pouch. Little origami pouch. Has hearts. Little vintage valentine. 
I think that's from my printables. And some little note cards. Thank you, Sue. I'm going to put that in my box. Yay! Carolyn J. What did everybody do for Valentine's Day? Oh, I have another card here. Uh-oh. It's going to start getting stuffed up. Oh, thank you, Carolyn. Thank you, thank you so much. So sweet. I don't know if that one's going to fit. Oh, it did. Debbie L. Debbie Liatis. B tissue paper, love that. Oh, Debbie, so sweet. With the B. Oh, that's texture. You did texture paste there, Debbie. I love it. Jennifer, happy Valentine's Day. Thanks so much for such a wonderful group and for being such a great B. <laughs> Friend and teacher, God's blessings to you, Debbie Liatis. Oh, I treasure it, Debbie. I treasure it. Thank you. That's another one that's not just for Valentine's Day. And I'm going to keep that one out of there. I think it might get smushed. Okay, we've got Ruth. Hi, Jennifer. Happy Valentine's. I'm brand new to making ATC, so I thought I would practice with my Valentine cards. Thinking of you, Ruth. Aw. You inspire me. Thank you, Ruth. Love it. Oh, Ruth, I love this stamp you have on the back. Limited edition artist trading card. Ooh. Ruth, where did you get that? We need to know. Love it. I'm going to... Put a little bit of glue. That little piece of paper is just coming off of there, Ruth. So I'm just going to tack it on there so it doesn't come off and tuck her in my box. Hi, Trudy. I've got something in the stack from you. Um, I believe this is from Beverly. that tiny little envelope. Did you make that? She said, I was so proud of myself for making my own envelope template. <laughs> Unfortunately, it was too small to go through the post office. And then she had to put it in a bigger envelope. Well, good job. Oh, this is so tiny. Look at that. Aww. Jennifer, I hope you take time to pamper yourself and enjoy this Valentine's Day. Bev Swain. Thank you, Bev. Cute. I love that little heart tucked in there. Very, very cute. Thank you, Bev. That's going to fit in here. Into my box it goes. And I save my little notes, too. I have all the notes everybody writes to me. I put them in a special box. This is from Eva. Ooh, sparkle. Happy Valentine's Day. May you have the most creative year ever. Your fellow maker be Eva James from Columbus. Thank you, Eva. That's gorgeous. Love it. Kathy B. For Burke Holder. Hi, Emma. Oh my goodness, look, it's a little ATC size Valentine that she has watercolored and hand painted. That is all done by her. Be mine. <laughs> Love it. I'm leaving that out so I can put it. Well, I'm going to put it in because I have other ATCs in here. But look at that. Love, love, love. That will go into my ATC binder. 
from Wendy Bilka. Wow, this one's thick. What do we have here? Oh my goodness. <gasps> Wendy. It's an envelope book. Oh, this is precious. She has her gel plate papers there as a little closure. We did the envelope book in a class in the Maker Bees. And so this is one that she made, her gel plate papers. Oh, Wendy, cherish, I cherish, cherish, cherish. Lovely, lovely. Look at those gel plate prints and how she's coordinated all the colors. And it's kind of got this ocean theme going on. That's gorgeous. Love it. At the beach. This one is not Valentine's, but I love it. Um, oh, Wendy said, since I have no one to share this with, I'm sending it to you. I hope you like it. Wendy, I love it. Thank you so very much. And I'm going to tuck your card in there. So I remember where it came from. Thank you, Wendy. I really, really appreciate that. Hi, Trudy. Trudy, here's yours. Trudy's on here in the comments. Look at all the decorating she did here. <laughs> she made a total mixed media work of art out of her envelope. Lots of layers. Use that envelope for something. Wow, Trudy, look at this, everybody. She handmade this envelope. Little beads hanging. Wow, precious. Look at that. Friends are the flowers in the garden of life. Aw. Our queen bee of sister bees made for you by Trudy. Oh, look at that old sticker. Trudy, where did you get these? I love that sticker. That is not going to fit in my box. I'll have to put it with your other artwork that you've made for me, Trudy. This one is from... Well, it just says Matson, so I know it's from Linda. <clears throat> be, ooh, be friends forever. It's an ATC. BFFs, look how she's stamped this hand, and then she's done little beads for the jewelry. And she did a little cutout heart and stamped a little B, and she stamped all the words. Love it. Looks like she made 12 of these, and I got one. Thank you so much. Thank you, Linda. Look at the pretty address. So pretty. Um, Sandy Rothney. All you need is love. She made this. I don't know, I cut that out. Some stamping, some painting. To you, Jennifer, from your fellow Maker B, Sandy. Thank you, Sandy. Oh, it doesn't fit. But thank you so much. Trudy said, I'm glad you like it. I don't remember where the sticker is from. Just part of my stash. I wonder if it's really old or if you can buy them like that now. This is from Judith. Judith, thank you for stamping it with hugs. Make sure I can show, read this. Okay. Giant Jennifer, be mine, Valentine. I'm sure you'll be getting zillions of Valentine wishes from this month's trading activity. I did not want to miss sending you love and thank you for all you do for us in the Maker Beehive. I joined the Maker Beehive during COVID and I've enjoyed so many of the activities. The word bird, smush book, stand up flowers, learning collage, the bicycle, pumpkins, so many fun, interesting projects. Keep us, please keep us inspired. I do use many tools that help me create the Cricut Joy. Um, 
I, I use it for my essential tremors, which makes it hard for me to do detailed painting. But in the Maker Bees, we are embraced using any and all materials to create, and that freedom is so welcomed. My favorite activity is the ATC trades. Thank you for all you do. I wish you only success and happiness, Judy. What a precious note. Thank you, Judy. Thank you so much. And here is the ATC that she made. And Judy, I'm sorry if you didn't want me to read that about your tremors, but I mean, I think it, I think it should be noted that you certainly don't have anything to worry about as far as making cute, adorable, wonderful art, because this is precious. Thank you. She has ribbon. She has scrap papers that she's cut, the little bee, the little bow, and she, such a beautiful back to the card that she has meticulously typed out. Love it. Thank you so much, Judy. I treasure it. And I treasure you. Thank you. Another one from Wendy? Wendy's the one who did the envelope book. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Anne. <laughs> You're sweet enough to eat, my Valentine. Jennifer, I know you like vintage, so I hope you like this vintage Valentine as much as I do. Thank you for all you do for us, Sister B. Wendy. Look at that. That's an actual vintage Valentine. Love it. I wonder if it has somebody's name on the back. I'm going to try to get it off of here. Somebody did sign it at some point. Oh, I love seeing the names on the back. I'm going to put that in my box. Thank you, Wendy. From Rhonda. She stamped it, Art from the Heart. Wow. Ooh. Love it. Camaraderie, you rock. Do small things with great love. Happy Valentine's Day. She's got a bee up here. This is really nice. These are all her gel print pap papers that she's cut hearts out of. Very good. Jennifer, I wish you a Valentine's Day filled with love and surrounded by family. Thank you for your creative inspiration and welcome me to, me to the sisterhood. Hugs, Rhonda. Oh, thank you, Rhonda. It's going in my box. Uh oh, this is a long letter. Yeah, I'm gonna save this for later because this is her sharing about her mother with me, some private information. Um, she's responding to the fact that we moved my mom into memory care um, just a few weeks ago, which she knows was a hard time because I shared that with my maker bees. And so she shared with me some of her experience and I'm gonna keep that private and I'll read the rest of that later. Thank you so, so, so much. I appreciate that so much. Hi, Sandra. Um, this one's from Sandra Shaw. Wow, she did the Scrappy Birds. Scrappy Bird Valentine. Oh, and her dictionary page back here is all with the letter B. I love it. Happy Valentine's Day to a fellow Maker B sister. Hoping this brings a little sunshine and smiles your way. Love it. This is great. This is wonderful. The little heart on the back. Precious. And she also wrote me a very long note. This is just like being back in high school, you know, when we got these long notes. Anybody remember that? Oh, my goodness. Oh, I just wanted to let you know how happy I am to have stumbled upon this group. You are such a fantastic teacher, and I have learned so much from you, even in the short time I've been a member. I've always done some kind of art all my life and have tried many different mediums, but your style just seems to click all the boxes for me. I love your relaxed style and that I am able to utilize tools I already have. I hadn't really created much in the past several years, but you have re-sparked my imagination and given me back my creative energy. You have reminded me that everything doesn't have to be perfect or have a big purpose. So now I am just enjoying the process of learning and creating. I really just wanted to say thanks for all the work you do to help others find their creative voices. Also, I have been praying for your mom 
and our move and transition into her new home. Make sure you take the time you need. I have walked the path with all our parents and it can be so hard sometimes and such a blessing at others. Your bees will understand. Hoping you feel loved and appreciated this Valentine's Day. Sending love, Sandy Shaw. Oh. Precious. I love that so very, very much. I so appreciate this. This is such a blessing. And look at that. Precious. Going into my box, even though they're all kind of sticking out of the top at this point. <laughs> but how fun is it to use my box? Oh, don't get messed up. There we go. That'll be good. Kathy G. Oh, Charlie Brown, Valentine's. All we really need is love. And I've got confetti coming out. But a little chocolate now and then doesn't hurt. Thank you, Jennifer, for creating this swap. It has really lifted my spirit and joy. Thank you, Kathy. Um, this one doesn't have a name on it. It's teeny tiny. Oh, it's an ATC. Happy Valentine's Day to my sister B. Thank you, Emma. And this is from Ty. Ty Messer. Thank you, Ty. Ooh, ATC. Love it. Linda G. This is another Linda G. This is Linda Gonzalez. So much fun to go to the post office and it was just overflowing. <laughs> and it's, it's just fun to get mail, isn't it? Oh, wow, look at that. Cool. It's like a star. Whoosh. Love it. Hi, Jennifer. Happy Valentine's Day. Thanks for all the fun and joy you bring to us all. Cheers, Linda. Thank you, Linda. Look at that collage. So sweet. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Nice. This is so different, Linda. It, and you hand sketched that, hand drew that with a little star. It almost looks like a little firework. Or we could do it this way. Love it. Linda G, are you on here? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, no name here. Roses are red. Violets are blue. I made this valentine just for you. Oh my goodness. Love, dream, believe. This is fabric. It is stitched. You can never have too much happy. Darling, you are a work of art. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. I can't wait. Who is this from? Kayla, Kayla Brown, yay. I know you have a ton of fabric. I wanted to share some of the fabric I use to make my hearts. Quilt fabric is from my uncle. He quilts. Thanks so much for introducing me to mixed media. Love and hugs for you. Thank you, Jennifer, for everything. Kayla Brown, thank you, Kayla. Look at that. She stitched around the heart. She has stitched around the card. Lovely, lovely. Thank you, thank you. Look at the fabric. Mm, love. Love. Thank you, thank you. Oh, there's a little, she stamped on the inside of the envelope there. That's very clever. Everybody taking note of that? Cute little idea when you open it up and there's a little stamp there. This one is from Carolyn. Ooh, little sticker like a little conversation heart that's cute oh there's a confetti in this one too look candy heart box on the outside looks like it's full and then you open it up oh and all the candy hearts came out <gasps> so cute thank you for all you do for us bees from carolyn love 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 and a little bee came out with all the little heart confetti oh gosh She's got a little stamp that she has made, handmade by Carolyn. How blessed am I? 
absolutely precious. I want to get all these out of my box and show them all at once when we finish up here. Um, Sandy Hoover. This is one of her mixed media pieces that she has had printed onto a postcard. Hi, Jennifer. I wanted to share with you what I made from our five item swap. She did this from the five item swap, which was where we did a swap and we had a partner and we would send five random items from our stash and you had to use it in a mixed media piece of your own design. And so this is what she came up with. I love it. Um, because it incorporated a sweet valentine from my swap partner's mother's collection. She also sent a Monopoly card, a bingo card, some gel print paper, and sheet music. I also wanted to tell you how much I treasure my Maker Bee membership. Um, other online art classes can be as much as $80, but here we are, blessed with several classes a month for only $37, plus the library, sisterhood, and more. Value, love, and be hugs, Sandy. Honestly, you guys, I did not open these ahead of time. This was not meant to be a promotion. But <laughs> thank you so much, Sandy. That's fabulous. I love it. I love that you printed your entire five-item challenge piece. And you can see clearly, like, your collage pieces in the background. Like, if you look up close, you can see her sheet music and some book pages back in the back. I love it. Iva. Oh, cute. Little pocket on the front. A little tag. A little pocket there. Wow, Jennifer. Loved your inspiring vision board session. I needed this. Your worksheet follows my thought process. I filled it out without hesitation. As I was free flow thinking, I surprised myself with what I wrote. One goal, take advantage of free and fee-based, free and fee-based classes three to four times a year. And then you offered an extended membership in your monthly creative dates. I have enrolled and I look forward to learning and sharing. Thank you. You are most generous with your time and with your willingness to share creatively and gratefully, Iva. I love having you at the Maker Beehive, Iva. You've always been a joy. Thank you for that sweet note. Susan Weaver from Florida. Lisa, always a replay. Hello, hello. This was from Susan Weaver. That's right. Look at this beautiful piece of paper. This little girl with the glue made me think of you. Did you know that rhymed, Susan, when you wrote that? <laughs> Love, Susan. Oh my gosh. And she put, let's stick together, Valentine. And she has little paste. Oh, <gasps> Susan. And then she did a little bulb pin. She has a grommet little hole, little bulb pin. And she has these little phrases that she's typed and cut out and distressed. And one of them says, you are a winner. She has little hearts. And then another one that says, life is better with you in it. That is precious. Absolutely precious. That stays up all year long. I love it. I need to make that like a promo pick, don't I? That needs to be like my new logo. <laughs> oh, I love it. Thank you so much. I need to keep that paper. Mary Ann Davis, the last one. I know there's going to be some of you that say, wait a minute, I sent you Valentine's. Um, Sandra Trent, yours is over. I opened yours when I first got it, and it is actually hanging on my wall over there. I can grab it in a minute. And then Jill Johnson, I have one from you, but it's actually at the cabin. I took some mail over there to go through and I left your card over there. So Jill Johnson, I do have one from you. Um, and then if there's anybody else, maybe because I haven't been to my PO box in the past two days. So don't fret, I'm sure I have it. This is from Marianne Davis. Holy moly. This is Marianne. Um, she's been a Maker Bee for several years, and I would recognize a Marianne Davis face anywhere. 
that is her style right there. You can totally tell, can't you girls? Those of you in the comments who know Marion, I am so thrilled and privileged to have her artwork now in my hands. Thank you so much. On Valentine's Day, just thinking about how good it is to know you. Have a wonderful day. Um, she said, I tried for vintage grunge on this card just for you. Jennifer, thanks for all you, thanks for all the joy you spread around. XOXOX, Marianne. Thank you. Made by Marianne Davis, February 24. Wow. She has a ton of layers, metallic gold, sparkle, beautiful. And then this is also in there. You are radishing, my dear. <laughs> Aw, she knit these little hearts for me. This is also a note about my mom um, and hers. So I'll keep that private, but I will share out the first part about our mom. And then she said, I've had such a blast these last three years with you. My confidence has grown and I now feel that art has something to say. I am part of a couple of art groups. The one now is a giant stretch for me. Many participants are professional artists and I can learn so much, but my fun and happiness is with the sisterhood of Maker Bees. I pay for art class and supplies with my crochet business. Here's some hearts from me. Much love to you, Marianne. Marianne, we're so lucky to have you. Oh, this, is this? Yeah, this is Mar this is Marianne. Um, we're so lucky to have you. So lucky to have you. Thank you. So she pays for her membership by making stuff. That is so brilliant. So brilliant. Um, somebody is asking questions. What is the pin? It's called a bulb pin because it's shaped like a light bulb. It's black. And if you look up bulb pin, you can get them in black, gold, silver, whatever. But that's that. Is that what you're asking about? Yeah, so let's see what all we've got. Wouldn't it be fun to see them all laying out together? Isn't that what we did when we were kids? I got to stuff my box. dark and out up here. <laughs> I may run out of space. So if you're just joining and you missed the beginning, maybe you'll see your Valentine in here. And this was a ton of fun this month. I sent out several Valentines myself, but I haven't heard of anybody receiving them yet. I need to check the post to see if anybody has said anything. them all. That's it. A ton of fun. We see that one. Oh, thank you, everybody. I really appreciate it. And I cherish these Valentines and it really made my Valentine's Day. Thank you so much. And now I'm gonna try a chocolate, what did she say it was? Milk chocolate sponge candy. Has anybody ever heard of this? Never heard of it. So let's take do this together. Milk chocolate sponge candy. Oh. Mmm. I was expecting marshmallow, but it's actually crunchy. Mmm. Oh. 
Oh, that's great. Hmm. Well, just so you know, I have a brand new course that I just opened up t today, um, last night, right? Yeah, yesterday. And um, if you go down on this page a little bit, you can read all about it. It's all about, mm, sorry, it's all about finding your own voice in your art. It's going to be great. Have a great night, everybody. Bye.